In this tutorial, we will use the Inspect Object Asset to create the same effects you see in this beautiful scene. We will get this nice outline in the objects, description levels, and of course, we will inspect as many objects as we wish. The setup is incredibly simple, and it takes no more than 5 minutes to get this scene working. We start with a clean scene, with some object we wish to inspect, in this case, a suitcase, a gun, an iPhone, and a keyring. The first thing we have to do is to add a new camera. This camera will be used to display the objects in the inspect view. The asset uses a layer system and cooling views to achieve this effect, but fortunately for you, all the process is completely automated. So we create a new camera and we can name with a proper name like Inspect Camera is a nice name. The next step is add again the object we wish to be inspected. Well, this object already exists in the scene, the suitcase, gun, iPhone and key ring, but we need to add a copy of this object, because this copy is the one that will be used to rotate, manipulate and so on. We can add the object where we wish, but a good place to put is as a child of the inspect camera. So we can start with the suitcase, for example, and put here as a child of the inspect camera. Then the next step is to add the inspect object script to the suitcase, to the recently new added object. So we can add the inspect object and you can notice that a new object has been created, the TGT Manager, Inspect Manager. You can also notice that an error appears here in the console. It is because we need to set the Inspect Camera parameter here. So it's as simple as set this camera and this message do not display again. Uh, many other things has happened automatically. For example, in the inspect camera, automatically the cooling mask has been set to the TGT inspect, and in the main camera, the cooling mask has been set to everything except this layer. Also, if this layer does not set 6, it will be created. If we go now to the game view, we can notice that the suitcase is displayed, but that is not what we want, so we simply can disable this game object. Now it's time to create the trigger in the in-game suitcase to open up the examine view when it's clicked. First, we need to add a collider to the object. We can set the size of the collider to what we wish. And after that, we simply add an inspect trigger script to the object. The first parameter to set here is the inspect object to be opened when clicked. In this case, is the suite case we created previously. And after that, we can set a lot of parameters, for example, outline, outline color, flashing or not, Label, for example, we can put sweet case, font, font size, font color, stroke, a lot of different things. And voila, with this we can now test how it works in the running scene. As you can see, we get an outline with the selected color, we can show also the label, and when click it, the inspector object is created. To add more object to be inspect, we simply need to do the same. Drop the object in the scene, add an inspect object, and create 
colliders in the in-game objects. And then add again the inspect trigger and set the properties of each one. iPhone with the iPhone, key ring with the key ring, and gun with the gun. We can also set the labels or not if we want to display any label. We can simply and check the show level and we can set different colors and so on. For example, in the case of the iPhone I wish to get flashing and no level. And that is all. With this we've got all our objects ready to get inspected. Oh I miss one important thing. Remember when we add object new object to the scene, we need to disable it. As you can see, we got all what we wish. The iPhone with the flashing outline, and when we click, we get the inspection of the object. And one interesting thing, for example, in the case of the suitcase, is an object with his own animation and interaction. In this object, if I click in the locker, the object gets open. All these behavior are kept when you use the inspect uh, script. Another interesting thing to do is to add some specifically illumination for the inspect object. So I can add a directional light, but remember to make a cooling mask only for CGT inspect objects. So your scenes won't be affected by this illumination and only the inspected object are. Now, as you can see, there are more nice illuminations for the inspected object. And that's all. As you can see, it's incredibly simple, super fast and easy to set up. There are many, many different options in this script. I encourage you to take a deep look to the manual, but the basic setup is fast and easy. Thank you.